This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman, as we turn now to the growing push to free the U.S. basketball superstar, Brittany Griner, from detention in Russia. Amidst concerns, her case could drag on due to her fame and also her status as an African-American lesbian. In an effort to clear a deal for her release, Brittany Griner pleaded guilty Thursday in a Russian court to what her lawyers say are trumped-up charges of large-scale drug possession and drug smuggling. This comes after Russian officials at the airport arrested the two-time U.S. Olympic basketball gold medalist and eight-time WNBA All-Star in February at a Moscow airport, alleging they found two vape cartridges containing cannabis oil in her luggage. She just arrived on a flight from New York to play for a basketball team in Russia, which nearly half of professional U.S. players do in order to supplement their income, since WNBA's maximum salary is capped at just under $230,000, the WNBA women's basketball. Greiner's trial began last week. Russian officials have said they will only negotiate in her case after the trial is over. Brittany Griner told the court through an interpreter she had no intention of committing a crime and acted unintentionally because she'd packed her luggage in a hurry. Griner still faces conviction and sentencing and is set to appear in court again next Thursday. As Brittany Griner was escorted to the courtroom in handcuffs, she held a photo of her wife, Sherelle. This is Sherelle Griner speaking Wednesday at a Bring BG Home rally on the home court of the Phoenix Mercury Griner's team in the U.S. What and how I feel today is a deeper emotion than hurt. I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated that 140 days have passed since my wife has been able to speak to me, to our family and to our friends. I'm frustrated that my wife is not going to get justice. I know you all are frustrated, too. That's why you're here. This easily could be any one of us. So tonight, I ask for your help in continuing to fight for BG's safe and quick return home. Let's make sure this administration knows that they have our support to do whatever is necessary and that we are not going to ever be quiet until she's home safely. This week, President Biden and Vice President Harris spoke with Sherelle Griner in their first one-to-one -one contact after Brittany Griner wrote a letter to Biden pleading for him not to forget about her. The call came more than two weeks after the State Department botched a plan to have the couple speak by phone on their fourth wedding anniversary. Secretary, uh, the White House press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, was asked about Griner's case Thursday. We believe that the Russian Federation is holding, uh, is wrongfully, has wrongfully detained Brittany Griner, and she is in intolerable circumstances right now. And we are going to do everything that we can. Uh, the president has this t top of mind uh, to make sure that we get Brittany home safely and also Paul Whelan. That is uh, an important, uh, important priority of the president. In April, Russia released uh, Trevor Reed, a former U.S. Marine, as part of a prisoner exchange after Thursday's court appearance by Griner. The WNBA Players Association said in a statement it stands with Brittany Griner. Griner also got support from the U.S. women's soccer star Megan Rapino Thursday during the Presidential Medal of Freedom ceremony at the White House. As Rapino received the award, she wore a white blazer with the initials BG embroidered on her lapel alongside stitch flowers. Rapino shared the image online, writing, quote, the most important part of today, BG, we love you. 